Hello all. Um, sorry it's been a long time since I have joined you guys, but uh, I had some computer issues. My brand new freaking computer. Sorry, a little bit of rage under the surface there. Anyway, um, it has been requested a couple times that I do live streams, and I, I cannot think of a more boring use of your time than to watch me do QA. <laughs> um, uh, but I figured I will meet you guys in the middle, and I will do just some on a recording, and I will upload two different versions. One of me actively... You know, basically the whole thing, searching for bugs for an hour or two. And then the other one, I'm going to do like a truncated version where I've edited out uh, all the sort of, you know, in-betweens. I'll, I'll, I'll go, uh, you know, up to the point where where I found a bug. Anyway, uh, enough yammering on like an idiot. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be trying to mess around with State of Decay 2. Um, it is a game that is, back when I was playing, it was very janky. Uh, I really enjoyed the game. I got a great rating for some reason. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, but it's been out for quite a long time, and it's probably got most of the major bugs patched out, which is going to create a little bit more of a challenge for me. So let's go ahead and get started. And they have a website uh, Undead Labs does. I will be able to post bugs to. I already see my first bug. In the cutscene, there was a car. And one of the wheels was floating off the ground slightly. And since it's one of the very first things that the player sees, probably should be at least documented. Okay, now for the really boring part. Time to start testing. I don't like to talk over the characters. Um, okay, so... Whenever you're testing, you'll probably be testing more in a focused way. They'll be like, hey, you're on art testing today, so you'll be sitting here, like, searching along here. And like, hey, what's... This looks like it's floating off the ground a little. See, that I'd probably bug this. Just because it's pretty big eyesore. Actually, you know, we should bug this. Um, one thing I like to do is I use OBS to do all of my recording and stuff. But it's actually really good for, um, there's a replay buffer uh, that you can use. Um, so I'll start my replay buffer. I think I've got it. Hang on. All right. So let's go ahead and check this. Still 10 seconds still. What the hell? Okay. All right, well, they're just going to have to take it the way it is. All right. So uh, you're, usually the first thing you want to do is search for your bug in whatever database you're posting it in. Um, so shadow pop. Station, patch shadows, removing shadows completely. The game runs it should. Looks bad, obviously. Um, pop is probably not the right word to search for. Um, I'm not sure what is such a general term that I would have to search for to find this. Uh, draw. Shadow draw. I mean, it's like a draw distance thing, maybe. I don't know. Just move over to shadow. Okay. Well, we're just going to assume this is not, not uh, bugged, so we're going to go ahead and bug it. Support. Oh, wait. Down at the bottom, new post, title, uh, bug, tutorial, area, shadow, pop, draw in and out. Um, okay, so as I've uh, stated in some other videos, I like to use the PAL system, so problem action location. Um, you can always switch it around. You can usually just want to make sure those three things are involved. They necessarily have to be in that order. Uh, basically, do whatever you got to do to make the bug, you know, clear. So, um, and the, so I'm going to actually switch it around. I'm not going to use the problem first. It's going to be uh, location first in the starting area of the tutorial 
the shadows for the surrounding uh, props geometry pop in and out when moving back and forth with the player character I'm sure there's a much better way to uh, say all this but trying to do write all these while knowing somebody's watching you it's a bit bit of a weird thing um so sharing screenshots is easy you can use like Imgur or something like that or you can use uh whatchamacallit um youtube uh for your videos and that's what i'm gonna do it's my daughter's account right there this is my account we're gonna go ahead and upload a video select file um details date this should be it state of dk2 shadow tu tutorial bug um all right so i'm not going to put any more really any more information no not make for kids so uh, monetization no monetization elements visibility uh unlisted unlisted is good all right cool so done this should start uploading all right cool close and hopefully we can get a thing here Ooh, maybe get share of a link then copy to clipboard perfect all right here we go uh please see video linked below and i use a program called ditto it's a clipboard manager um, it basically remembers your last 500, um, copies. Uh, it's really, really handy for like, oh man, what did I copy that thing a little while ago? I can't find that link I copied or I can't find that block of text that I copied. It's really handy. to always had that stuff close at hand. So boom. All right. Topic, uh, wish list, I guess. They don't really have a good bug reporting system except for on discord. They have a room for it that... I don't really, uh, I don't know. I'm always concerned about posting bugs in a Discord just because I know that it'll get buried and it doesn't document very well. Um, it's one of those things like a bunch of people just comment after you and suddenly that, that bug is buried and it can't be found again. But anyway, I digress. So, uh, submit. Boom. And we have posted our first bug. Cool. All right, let's keep going. Oops. Actually, I kind of want to see if I can die. She's literally doing nothing to help me. <laughs> there she goes. Okay, let's see if we can die. No, kill me, not him. Or kill him. That's fine too. There we go. There shouldn't be zombies inside the fences, right? Better question. Where are all the people? See if we can. That'll be another thing. See if we can't get over these in the places we're not supposed to be. <laughs> Oop, there's some bug right there. There's a floating wrench. Yeah, that's definitely not right. Um, and unfortunately, we don't have a map to sort of triangulate where we are. So I'm going to have to just sort of try to describe it the best I can. All right, so screenshot with print screen. I use a program called Greenshot for my print screens. And it is not working right now because why would it? That would be way too convenient. All right. uh, but I think print screen just automatically. Oh, there we go. All right, that worked. Bam. Uh, a lot of times to make it super obvious, I'll open it up in paint and draw a big circle around. 
Floating stuff, save as. Floating wrench. Yes. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and search for this. Floating wrench. Okay, well, I don't really see anything. New post. And for those of you who are looking for uh, QA jobs, it's not a bad idea to do this kind of thing. Just one, for practice, and two, actually also for documentation of like, hey, I can do this job. Um, you can sort of like in the interview or if they ask you for, hey, have you done any QA work before? You can honestly say yes and uh, provide them links to the, your bugs. And I'm sure they would appreciate having those links to your bugs, knowing that you can write a bug um, and document it properly. Now, one thing I've noticed about a lot of commenters is they kind of struggle with, uh, I know some of them are probably not from, not English isn't their first language, and that's perfectly understandable, but uh, some of them I know that English is their first language and they do not communicate well. Uh, written communication is incredibly important in QA. Um, just in general in life, to be honest, but in QA, it's really, really important. And when I first started off in QA, I had some of the worst spelling and grammar. I mean, like a, a six-year-old could probably have better spelling and grammar than I did. And I'm so, so, so thankful that they took the chance on me and let me join up even with my horrible, horrible communication skills. Um, and I've gotten better, thankfully, a lot, lot better um, throughout the years, but that's because I tried. That's because I knew my stuff was terrible. And, uh, and and I worked on it. So if you have what you feel is not great uh, communication skills, please, 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 please work on it. Um, and that is super, super important. And uh, showing them your bugs written out will be very helpful for them. All right, so bug, uh, floating wrench. All right, in the tutorial, oh wait, hang on, I'm actually gonna go pal this time. Uh, there is a wrench floating off of the ground. Um, I'm trying to think of the best way. In the tutorial area, the, the wrench is located behind some tents just past the entryway. Um, where the player is initially spawned and spawned just after clearing the initial zombies, the wrench is to the right of where the player walks out from. I'm not sure else how else to explain that. Please see attached screenshot. All right, I'm gonna go and read it over. There's a wrench floating off of the ground at the tutorial area. The wrench is located behind some tents just past the entryway where the player is initially spawned. Uh, just after clearing the initial zombies, the wrench is to the right of where the player walks out from. Please see attached screenshot. All right, um, I wish I had coordinates or something like that that I could share with them. That would tell them exactly where it is. I hope I know where I saved this freaking thing. Downloads, maybe? Boating rent. There it is. All right. Bam. All right. Topic. Wish list. Boom. Bug number two done. Okay, cool. Let's keep going. All right. Let's keep looking around. Um... We have that, but we don't have access to our radio yet, which is fine. Uh, this looks very wrong. We're going to bug this. Front screen. And then uh, I'll take a break from the uh, art bugs for a little bit, because I feel like you guys have probably seen it. No, Understand what I'm going for at this point. Or I can keep going with art bugs. I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> this is just doing QA. Like I said, it's going to be very boring. Or a potty floor. Gross. Things I never, ever, ever, ever want to have to experience is port a potty floor. Gross, gross, gross. 
Is a porta potty one word or two? Porta potty. Two words regularly. Yeah, porta potty. All right. Porta potty. Oop, hang on. Is it two T's? No, porta potty. Four. A nothing but porta potty, at all. All right. Let's go down to the bottom. Find a new, new post. Bug. Por oop. Porta. Potty. Floor. Uh, the porta potty. Shown in the. Attached screenshot. Is. Um. Placed in a way that causes its floor to be inside of the ground geometry. Um, this is in the tutorial area. God, I really wish. Would you say this is in the morning or the evening? Probably the evening. So I'm going to use that to determine that that way is west. So on the east side of the tutorial area. Um, yeah, let's go with that. This is in the eastern side of the tutorial area. Please see attached screen shot. Um, assuming this takes place in the evening. Okay. I really wish they would give me coordinates or map. That would make this so much easier. Pour a body. Pour a body. Um, wish list. Floor. Okay, the porta potty shown in the attached screenshot is placed in a way that causes the floor to be inside of the ground geometry. This is on the eastern side of the tutorial area, assuming this takes place in the evening. Um, okay, uh, probably a little wordier than it needs to be, but you know, whatever. I'm not being paid for this. And a screenshot, a uh, picture really is worth a thousand words. Obviously, your bug should stand alone on its own. Uh, with just the text, you should be able to use just the text and be able to sort of illustrate what the problem is. But the picture is always super helpful. So, um, submit. Boom, and we'll keep going. All right. Um, hmm, that's probably okay. I have a terrible sense of direction, which you think would make me a really terrible tester. I don't know, maybe it does. These tents are not casting shadows. All right, now this actually brings up a good point uh, that I want to make. So, um, a lesser tester would take a look at these tents and they would bug every single one. They would bug this one, they would bug that one, they would bug that one, uh, whenever in actuality it is one bug because it is this model of tent that is not casting a shadow. It is not a different bug for each one. It is a different bug for each, and er, it is one bug for this one style of tent. So let's go ahead and get that screenshotted. Save as. Um, let's see, tent shadow. All right, we're gonna go and search that exact term, tent shadow. Seems to have given me all stuff for tent and shadow, not tent, you know, or tent or shadow, not tent and shadow. Okay, um, let's go to new post. 
bug, uh, black tint does not cast shadow. In the tutorial area, there is a model of black tint that does not cast a shadow. Please see attached screenshot for example. Perfect. All right. And all this stuff is probably going to get marked shippable, but you know, whatever. It happens. And uh, in a perfect world, I would have the dev tools to be able to tell what model of tent this is and give them the exact model name. Um, but I do not have access to those tools. Dope. All right, let's, uh, let's keep it rolling. Kill me. Yes. Yes. No, Alex, no. No! Yeah, while you're messing with him, I'm gonna go kill these guys. Oh no, you're hitting me! Oh no, don't hit me! Oh no! Don't swarm us to where I may die. Don't forget to dodge! Ducks dive, dip, dodge, and dodge. Am I... Oh, there we go. No. I wish to die. Sorry if you hear me drinking my tea. Hmm. Guess it's gonna make me get up. Oh wow, that's quite the uh, health boost there for doing nothing. Um. Oh, this is definitely not a functioning gate. Oh, see, I almost might bug that this gate doesn't work. Because there's no visible reason why it shouldn't. Yeah, let's bug this. Yeah. We gonna bug this. What's there, are these called? Kwanzaa huts? I think is what these things are called. Um, and that's paint. Yeah, there we go. Like, there's no visible reason why the sh door shouldn't work. I know it seems really stupid that I'm like circling this thing that's really really obvious <clears throat> but you would be shocked. I have bugged things in the past and had them returned by developers where it's like oh there's no reason why I can't see what the problem is. I don't see what they're talking about. You have no idea how often I have come across that. Uh, let's see, um, gate won't open. Mm, let's see what they're talking about with this. Oh, okay. I see what Um, improvements, one bovine antagonist enclave. Okay. Um, feel confident saying that good bug. Alright, uh, actually, I'm going to get a reference sh shot because there is. Oh, can I not go back out? Uh, hmm. This would probably get marked as design, but I would probably bug this. The fact that once you're in here, you can't go back out. Um, it's probably very much as designed. Um, but yeah. No retreat. Cowards. It would probably get marked as designed. They probably don't want you going back out. Uh, but the reason I was going to go back out here is because I remember seeing a gate that had a chain going across it. Which would sort of indicates to the player, hey, you can't go... Uh, can't go through here. 
But here, there's no visible reason for why I shouldn't be able to open this. Um, I would probably run out and grab a screenshot of the other one. Uh, just saying, hey, you know, here there's a pretty good representation as to why I shouldn't. <laughs> Sorry, I like doing that. Um, okay, so yeah, let's go and bug this. Bam. Let's go down to the bottom. Uh, I'm using the go all the way down to the bottom really fast. I'm using the end key on my keyboard. I know you didn't ask for that, and a lot of you are saying no duh, but come on, new post. There we go. Uh, bug. Uh, gate won't open. Um, and actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and let you guys know that sometimes I use, I think it's Windows G? No, that's not it. Windows H? Yeah, Windows H. All right. Um, uh, there is a function in Windows 10 that lets you use speech to text, which it doesn't work super duper well. Uh, um, uh, you basically have to talk like a robot to get it to work. Uh, but I digress. That is basically what it is. Um, uh, so I'll go ahead and try and use that now. It's going to sound funny, me talking into it, but some people like to use it. I like to use it. Uh, but let's go ahead and try it now. In the tutorial area, there is a gate inside the Quanzi hut. That will not open. And has no visible indication as to why it cannot be opened. Period. So yeah, that that was a nightmare. That did not did not work. Um, why? I say it usually doesn't work all that well. Um, but man, that was really really bad. I don't think I've ever seen it work that poorly. I think it's Quanzi Hut. Is that how you spell it? I have no idea. Quanzi Hut. Is that how it's spelled? Quanzi Hut. Quonset Hut. Yeah, Quonset Hut. Let's go ahead and copy paste that. Quonset Hut. No! Quonset Hut. Alright, so that was a bit of a nightmare. It probably could have been faster if I just typed it out. But, I digress. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and read it back. In the tutorial area, close this. In the tutorial area, there is a gate inside the Quonset Hut that will not open and has no visible indication as to why it cannot be opened. Fork off, teams. Jesus. Um, in here, we're going to try the text to speech again, see if it works. Other gates in the tutorial area have things actually visible chains finding them closed or other props placed in front of them indicating that they cannot be used period please see attach screenshot period all right so that's not so bad that i wouldn't actually know okay i like it's a tutorial and visible chains Oh, finding. We need to be change this to binding. So why it's important to proofread. Binding them closed or other props placed in front of them indicating that they cannot be used. Alright, cool. Let's see chat screenshot. Dope. Alright. Um in tutorial area. Bam! All right, topic, wish list, submit. All right, I'm going to pause the recording, take a little bit of a break, and I will be back.
wonder if I can die via falling off. This may take a while. One more, maybe? I don't think I can die via fall damage. So that's good, I guess. They, they, uh... They've apparently adjusted for this, or they've just made it to where your health can't fall below zero. Which looks to be the case. <clears throat> okay. If I were doing this a little more professionally, I'd probably spend more time doing that, do a few more times just to be sure. But like I said, I don't want to bore you guys too much. <laughs> oh, I love it. We keep going. As long as we stick together, we can survive anything. You see, I would probably bug that. The fact that you can take off before everybody's in the car. That'd be a good bug. But I feel like that's a good stopping point. We've been at this for about an hour. Damn, we're out of gas. And damn, we're out of gas anyway, so. Anyway, although I do want to see what the effects of the, uh... If they heal me up after that. The way that blood plague is progressing, your brother won't last long without a place to rest. Nah, Doc. I'm totally fine. I promise. We have to find a place to settle down. Now. For once, the army and I agree. It's time to get off the road and find a home. Some place we can build what we need to keep your brother from dying. I remember seeing a potential home site as we came through town. Okay, let's go check it out. Staying out here for too long is a bad idea. He definitely did not heal me up. Alright, well, thank you very much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, please let me know. And uh, I will be happy to assist any way I can. Thanks a lot. Bye.